So we've looked at creating a cover using a number of different tools, using sketches and then the tools that we've not seen up to now called Revolve, Sweep, Loft. We're now going to explore one further option for creating that cover and that's using the Create Form workspace, which is a free form workspace. It's something that's very powerful in Fusion 360. It allows you to create complex shapes really, really quickly. Um, but before we get into that area, what we need to do is activate our cover. So I'm now going to go up to the top menu and click on this purple box where it says Create Form. And that takes me into the Sculpt environment. So I'm not in the model environment now, I'm in Sculpt. You may get a warning if it's the first time that you've uh, entered that workspace. The ribbon across the top has changed. But under the Create menu, I've got a number of different starting shapes that I can pick from. And I'm going to pick the Sphere tool in this instance. I'm going to pick on that top face and drag out a sphere that covers the top face of my plate. Now, this shape is being defined by these black lines that you can see running around it. So it's creating curvature between all of those lines. I can actually, when I create the model for the first time, I can actually change the number of faces. So I can reduce that right down if I want. Um, I'm actually going to stick with eight. Um, you can put lots in, but it's not necessarily a good idea to put too many um, faces into your shape because it does actually make control of that much more difficult. So I'm going to stick with eight in this instance and click OK. I'm now going to delete the bottom half of that. So I've just selected, window selected the bottom half, deleted that out, and I've now got a hemispherical shape on the screen. That now brings into play this powerful menu called Modify in the Sculpt environment, and there's a very powerful tool at the top of that called Edit Form. Once you click on Edit Form, it actually allows you to pick on one of these edges, or it allows you to pick on a face, or it allows you to pick on a vertex, or if you hold shift, you can you can select multiple faces. You don't have to pick one at a time, but if you pick on a face, what you'll see is you get these manipulators that allow you to drag this shape very quickly out of the standard shape that you started with. So you can see there just what three, four clicks of the mouse, I've actually got something that's a lot different to the shape that I started with. So this is a very powerful way of actually dynamically changing the shape of a surface. Now one word of warning in Sculpt, there is no timeline. So if you do do something that you don't like, then you do have to use the undo button to get yourself back to a point where you want to start again and that's what I've done I've just taken that back in a number of steps back to the hemisphere that we started with so what I can do is if I go to edit form if I pick on an edge for instance if I double click on it you'll see it selects the whole edge and now I can actually start dragging that up or down so I can actually drag that down you'll see that it's telling me the uh, amount of movement that I'm putting into that uh, if I grab on that, for instance, that icon there, I can actually scale this up or down so I can make it shrink and grow. And I can move it around so I can lozenge it like that. So I've really, really got a lot of creativity that I can put into this part now um, using this tool. So I can create quite a complicated shape from quite a simple shape. So I'm just going to go back and modify that. I'm just going to drop that surface down and probably just scale it a little bit to, to create the sort of shape I'm looking for. And then back to this one and modify this one, just drag that down. So I've created this somewhat different shape. Um, it looks very similar to the revolve shape maybe that we created before. But obviously what we can do with this one now is we can actually pull some of these faces uh, a little bit out of alignment um, with that starting shape. So that's the Sculpt tool that, that creates this kind of shape um, and gives you a lot of creativity. At some point you need to hit this Finish Form icon to come out of the Sculpt environment back into the model environment. So if I do that 
we're going to go back into the model environment and this looks like a normal shape except at this stage this is now just a surface so there is no thickness to this particular component at the moment uh, it's just a very thin surface it's a, a mathematical surface and nothing more so to create that into a proper model I need to go to the create menu and choose this option here called thicken and I need to then click on the face that I want to thicken and tell it maybe that this needs to be two millimeters thick click OK and this is now a solid body so if I zoom in you can see that there is a wall thickness to it whereas if I just undo that thicken you can see before this has got no thickness as soon as I've done that thicken command I've now added thickness to my part so that's now a proper body so now I've got a number of different options that I can choose from uh, in my cover so I've got this particular body I've got the body I created there and I've got the lofted body I created there so you can see you can very quickly look at several different concepts um, for the cover cap for your particular hexapod so I'll leave it to you to decide which one you want to take and what type of form you want your hexapod cover to take but there's a number of different options there that we've seen in the last two videos for you to be able to do that